Meghan Markle targeted in racist hate crime. From the moment the world first learned that Prince Harry was dating Meghan Markle, racist trolls have been crawling out of the woodwork to spew their hateful bile. These days, Harry and Meghan are engaged, so naturally, the world's worst people have ramped up their efforts to frighten and harass the couple. The Guardian is reporting today that Scotland Yard is investigating an envelope of white powder that was mailed to Kensington Palace and addressed to Harry and Meghan. Police are treating the incident as a racially motivated hate crime. Investigators suspect that the envelope contained anthrax, but they have yet to release the results of a toxicology test. Of course, even if it turns out the powder is something far less harmful, the fact remains that the perpetrator intended to scare Harry and Meghan, to make them feel unsafe in their own home. Sadly, this incident isn't entirely surprising. It's hard to believe, especially given how beloved she is on this side of the pond. But some Brits are not happy about the idea of Harry marrying Meghan. Some say it's because Meghan is divorced. Others claim it's because she's an actress. And a surprising number just come right out and admit they're racist. We suppose their honesty would be refreshing if their bigotry wasn't so nauseating. A recent collection of comments posted on the Daily Mail's website in response to an article about Harry and Meghan gives you an idea of the sort of vitriol that's at work here. A divorcee barely as a list actress. Wrote one cat's loving psychopath. This is going to be a joke fist of a sham wedding. Can't stand the witch she is going to be the downfall of the royal family. Remarked another level-headed gent. An almost 40-year-old divorcee who appears used up, tongue hanging out and slapping high fives and taking selfies along her carriage route, another basement dweller wrote of Megan. You get the idea. These people seem unaware that the Church of England literally only exists because of a divorce, but there's no point in arguing with them, anyway. Living well is the best revenge, and it doesn't get much better than life as a princess.